Hey everybody, welcome to this video guide for Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. This is my first of just a few video guides for this game. This is going to be a completionist walkthrough of the very first level of the game. To complete all of the requirements for this level, you do need to end with a final score of 1300 points and you need to complete the secondary objective, which requires you to rescue the assassin informant Hong Mui. Now let's get started with this video. Be sure to use the time code at the bottom left if you want to skip the opening cutscene. The box is empty, or should I say, incomplete. Where is the rest of it? We know who you are. We know who you were. You've come far for someone who was merely once a concubine. I will ask you again, assassin. What is this box? Where did it come from, and what is its purpose? Why continue to resist us? Look around you. No one is coming. We wiped out your order. There is no escape from here. Why would I want to escape? I am exactly where I want to be. Such arrogance! Ma Yong Cheng will make you talk. Let him try. No wonder your kind fell so far. My kind isn't done yet. All right, now let's start up this memory. If you want to go ahead and use the time codes available to you to jump around the video to the relevant sections. So that way you can just get to where you need to go. You don't need to follow this video strictly, but if you do follow along with this video, you will have no problem getting everything that you require in this memory. So to get started, you're just gonna go through a lot of tutorials. It's going to be just basic tutorials, really running jumping, sliding, all of that good stuff. Just go along the path that the level lays out for you and you should have no problem in the early stages here. What you do want to make sure that you are sure of as you continue on throughout this level is to make sure that every encounter you come across, you get a shadow gold rating. If you do not get a shadow gold rating, then you will have to restart the checkpoint to make sure you have the highest rating possible, which is shadow gold, of course, because if you don't have that, you won't be able to get the top score. So you want to make sure that every encounter has that rating. If not, you better restart your checkpoint before it saves that lower score for you. All right, now with all of that information out of the way, let's continue on. You're going to be crossing this beam. Normally, a dog noticing you would get you a lower rating, but here is the only instance where it's pretty okay. Moving forward, we are going to jump below to actually collect this Animus Shard. I am going to be showing you every location for the Animus Shards, as this is also my collectible run but it is not necessary for you to do so. I will be putting out a collectibles guide for the entire game, so you don't have to collect them on this run if you wanna just focus on getting the top rating, but it is pretty easy to complete, especially considering this is the first level. All right, after we do this back leap, we are going to be moving on to the next floor. Once we do get to the next floor, that is where our second animus shard is located. So go continue on, and once you hop to this ledge here, turn around, and climb up these planks here. Once you make it to the top, you are going to find the second of six animus shards for this level. Now let's continue on. Once you jump down here, you will get the first tutorial for the hiding spots. So make sure that you do not assassinate this guard because as long as you do not kill them and you run past them, you'll clear this area and you will see the shadow gold rating pop up for this encounter. So you wanna remember that if you see anything other than shadow gold pop up, so assassin gold is a common one that I've gotten whenever I fail, make sure that if you do see assassin gold or anything that is not shadow gold, you restart your checkpoint immediately so that way you can go back and get shadow gold for yourself. Anyways, let's move on. For this encounter, all we are going to do is follow the tutorial and go straight into the hiding spot. Once the guard turns around, you'll see the eye notification once they turn around, we are going to be able to run past them. And as long as we do not kill them, we have gotten shadow gold for this encounter. Now let's go ahead and continue to move farther and farther up. And once we make it to the top, there will be another tutorial for whistling. So this is going to be one of many distractions that you can use in this game. And it is basically a cone of effect. 
if you're gonna look at it that way, it's just a radius that people can hear you within. You expand it, you shrink it to fit whatever guards you want to bring towards you, towards the sound, I should say. And then once you have drawn that guard away, we can go past it to get our shadow gold for that encounter. And then right here is the first of, I believe, two or three assassinations for this level. It is necessary for you to do for the tutorial, so don't worry about losing out on shadow gold. Once you have killed them, be sure to pick up their body and throw it into the hiding spot. If the body gets spotted, you will then lose shadow gold and need to restart the checkpoint. Now, once again, we are going to be using our whistle and continuing on forward. After we slide underneath, we are going to be picking up our rope dart. That is the first of two pieces of equipment that we need to collect before we are able to complete this memory. Once we have collected that, we are going to head straight up to assassinate this enemy here. This is necessary. You don't need to worry about losing shadow gold. And right beside that enemy is our third animus shard. We are then going to be continuing on, making sure we do have shadow gold. Once again, you could be spotted by that enemy, but as long as you're not spotted, you will still get shadow gold for that encounter. And then once again, we are going to assassinate another enemy, this time from the hiding spot, and we will bring them into the hiding spot so we won't lose out on shadow gold with that one either. All right, continuing on, we are going to go into this little crawl space here and we are going to get our eagle vision tutorial this is actually a very useful skill to know because it sort of expands your entire screen and you can search through all over so it really helps you figure out where things are and especially when you're looking for collectibles it definitely helps there now once we jump down we are going to wait for the guards to turn around and head straight into the hiding spot once they turn around once again and go into the direction that we came from and the area is clear ahead of us, we are going to go past them and continue on up ahead. Once we do make it up, we are going to get our firecracker tutorial. It is very straightforward. You just throw it at an enemy to stun them. It works best on observers like this because they aren't in your path and you can just throw it on them and go by past them very easily. All right, now continuing on, we are headed up once again. Here, there are going to be two guards talking. The thing about guards talking is they do not have any cones to look around with, so they are not going to spot you no matter what. All you need to do is jump past them, but first we are going to collect our animus shard, and then we are going to jump past them. So you can just drop behind them and you don't need to worry about being spotted because they are busy talking. After that, we are just going to continue on upward into this crawl space here. And then once we get up to this crawl space, there is going to be a large room that has two guards in it, we just need to wait for them to not look at our direction and then we are going to go behind them and into the hiding spot that is in the center of the room. Once we get there, we are then going to wait for them to pass in front of us. And then after that, we are going to pass by them and this room has been cleared. And we will also have a checkpoint right after this one because there is going to be a semi difficult room coming up. So just allow these guards to pass and then we are going to continue on. In this room, make sure that you collect the firecrackers here. If you need them, make sure to pick them up. And then we are going to continue on. You need to first move forward in this room so that way the guards do sort of move away from you. If you go to the edge of this platform up here, they will turn around for you and then you can go ahead and distract the guard that's right below you. Personally, I prefer to use the whistle distraction, but you can use the firecracker on this guard and then just completely stun them and bypass them. But I use the whistle to just pull them that direction while these guards were turned around and out of earshot. Now, once they go past the hiding spot, I am able to just run past them. And once we arrive in this next room, we are going to be collecting the sword. After we have collected the sword, there's going to be a quick tutorial section. It is actually pretty easy. It is with Ezio in the memory corridor, so just follow along with what he says. Learn how to block, learn how to do the turnover, and learn how to just use the sword. It's pretty straightforward. Remember to use the time codes to jump to the relevant sections if you want to skip past this. Definitely do so and head to the next part of this memory, which is the secondary objective. I'll let this all play out because it is very straightforward. See you in a bit. Perfect. This tactic is also good to escape from combat. Attack this enemy. Show me how you strike good. Standard attacks are quick, but they deal little damage. Strike the enemy harder than that. Excellent. 
Heavy attacks deal more damage. See? The enemy is now weakened. Finish him. Good. Keep going. To ye! Alright, now that that tutorial has finished, let's continue on with the memory itself. We are going to be turning this wheel here and then running underneath the gate. Make sure to be quick because I messed up a few times on these personally. But once you have passed over that, we are going to be continuing on into this large room. This is where our secondary objective will take place. We need to free Hong Lui, so let's continue on into the room. But before we get too far, let's go ahead and collect our Animus Shard. That is directly underneath us and if you can see it in the background that is the final animus shard but first we are going to be headed over to hong Wei. we are going to move towards this cage and then we are going to find out who our target is the target is the guard that is at the top right so like i said we are just going to go up to his cell and we are going to find out who our target is that we need to get the key from all you need to do is head right in front of his cell and you will get notified that it is the guard at the top right if you check eagle vision you will know that he's in gold normally in assassin's creed games that of course means they are your target so he is going to be the enemy we are headed for and he is the only enemy that we can kill here so we are going to head towards our left and wait for this guard to turn around once they do turn around we are going to go down the left and hang off the ledge just waiting for them to turn around if you do want to go ahead and skip over this animus shard go ahead but if you wait right after they turn around you can go ahead and collect the animus shard and quickly run right up the wall over here without them even turning around to notice you so you can do all that very quickly. It's not very inconvenient for you. So I'd recommend you go ahead and collect that animus shard for yourself. All right, now that we have made it up to the top left, if you need any firecrackers, be sure to collect them and make sure that they are active. We are now going to wait for the guard that is directly to our right. So at the bottom right of my screen, we are going to wait for them to pass. And then once they're out of range, we are going to use a firecracker to stun the guard that was closest to us. Then he is going to be distracted and we can easily move past the both of them into this hiding spot here. And then once we're in this hiding spot, all we are going to do is wait for the best opportunity to take out our target. You don't need to hide the target's body. All you need to do is move it as far right as possible because the cone of vision that that second guard has does not go all the way to the end. So once you have finally killed the target, all we are going to do is be bringing his body to the right. And then finally, we can just free Hong Lui. So once the area is clear, we are going to stun him and then we are going to assassinate him, move his body very quickly. And that is that we are basically done with the secondary objective. So all that I need to do is stay in my hiding spot, wait for him to be at a good distance for me to stun him with the firecracker. And then I can go in for the assassination while he is stunned. And since he was stunned, he did not notice me and I can bring his body all the way to the right. If you take a look here, I was kind of panicking, just scared that the enemy is going to spot me, but since they are too far, I was all good and all I needed to do was continue on from there. So let's return to our assassin friend Hong Lue and let's continue on back to the right. This is the end of the memory. So once you open up this gate, all you need to do is kill Gao Feng and then we have essentially completed this mission. Hope this video was able to help you. Please let me know. I will see you at the stats screen for the end of this video. Hope you enjoy the cutscene. Be sure to skip it if you're not very interested and you just want to get to the stats menu. I was exactly where I wanted to be. Close enough to kill you. Where is the box you took from me? Far from your reach by now, assassin. One of your tiger brothers must have it. No matter. I will find which one and retrieve it from his still warm corpse. Do you even know 
what the box is. I know it belongs to the Brotherhood. How naive. Thinking you can retrieve the box. Thinking that killing me will achieve anything. Killing just one of you will not give me the vengeance I seek. You are the first of the tigers to fall, but you will not be the last. All right, and that is the end of this memory. If you finished this memory and followed my gameplay and also made sure that you only got shadow gold ratings on every encounter, you should have the maximum level score, which is 1300 points. So I hope I was able to help you with this video. Please drop a comment and let me know if I was. I do love to hear that. And I hope you appreciated this video. Please stick around and subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.